Hello, welcome to uh, Race Coordinator Tutorials again. Um, this particular Race Coordinator Tutorial is going to talk about the management setup screens. Um, the management screens are another one of the two ways, um, along with the, the wizard screens, to set up your configurations for your drivers. Um, excuse me, sorry about that. For your um, set up your drivers, your cars, your track, your race, your events, all the stuff you would ever want to configure. Um, can be done here as well as the wizard screens. Um, there are some main, some key differences between the management screens and the wizard screens, and we're going to talk about we're going to talk about just the management side right now, the manager screens. Um, in this tutorial, there's a different tutorial that talks about the wizards. Please have a look at those to see, you know, what that is, um, what those are, and how that how they how they work. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the race management screens as an example of. Um, example to walk through for you. Um, basically, the management screens are intended to give much faster access to the properties that you, that, that you might care about. Um, they're ideal for um, more experienced users who know um, what the different properties mean um, and, how, and how to use them. I mean, there's very little description of what each of these properties are. You can see there's just a name and a tool tip here. Um, you know, car filter, what's that? Well, there's a tool tip, but that may not be and you know helpful enough there's all the fields um, the nice thing about them is that they're all right in front of you in one spot generally um, more or less these fields correspond to how the race wizards groupings are set up um, in this case the race wizard um, all the all the management uh, wizard screens kind of pair up in terms of the groupings and the wizards equate to, to screens sort of somewhat on in the management screens especially if, if all the properties can't fit into one screen like the, the races can't um, so in here you've got a main tab, you've got a UI tab, you've got heats, you've got scoring, you've got points, you've got groups, you've got images, you've got audio. Um, the important things here to notice that, um, as I said, these are for more experienced users. You'll notice first off that there are no default values anywhere, so there is no race name. Um, there are some, you know, a lot of the timing and things are all set to zero. These may or may not be legal values. You know, min lap time, zero is acceptable, but not a good idea. Um, call button delay is zero, that's fine, you know, anything in here. Um, more importantly, things like the race day XAML file, this this file. Um, we'll talk about this later in a different tutorial, but this is the file that determines what your race day screen looks like. If you don't have one specified, it won't be a proper race. You can't actually, um, you won't be able to create this race, but for right now, the management screen doesn't care. It will only complain if I say add right now, and it tells me specifically that that the race day XAML file must be specified. It will go through one at a time these errors. If I specify that, it will find the next error in the setup. And there are plenty of errors. I mean, there's no race name. So eventually it will tell me that there's no race name. Um, so that's that's that can be a problem, but it can also be a good thing. It's just to get out of your way and to try to let you do your thing, assuming you know what you're doing. Um, what it does do, though, is it provides um, a way of doing two things here. Um, the management screens allow you to update. Um, as you can see in the in the race wizard, you can only create races. In, in in the wizard, you can only create entities. In the race wizard, you can only create races. But in any wizard, you can only create, 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 create. You can't change change around configurations, and you can't remove them. That's what the management screens are for. So a convenient thing to do here would be to, is to take an already existing race in the race wizard or an already existing car or driver or whatever and select it. And the first thing you're going to notice is that it fills in every single field in the management screens with the value specified for the selected, in this case, race. So we've got the test name, we've got the UI screen set up as the four, race day four, four lane, race start, everything is set up now. This, this has a bunch of things now that are advantageous. So when we, when we created this race in the wizard, um, specifically in the tutorial that I created it in, I didn't know what the configuration was. I literally just gave it a name and hit create. Let's go look at what kind of create, what, what, what the default values were. It turns out that it's a straight round robin race set up on a four lane track. Um, here's the round robin. Um, Here's the track that it used, four lane track. I'm not going to show you the track, but by the name, you can assume, well, it actually, it shows you the lane count here is four lanes. Um, so it's a pretty pretty straightforward race. Um, I'll show you here. It is um, a time limited race. 
um, that ranks drivers by lap count, and it lasts for 180 seconds or three minutes. So, to show you sort of what the what the power of this is, is that let's say we we don't like how this default configured, and let's say we actually want a uh, five minute race. Well, that's a 300 second race. Um, 300 divided by 60 is five. 300 seconds. So, I can hit update now, and in a second the hourglass goes away and now this race is a 300 second race so we've just altered the configuration of an already existing race and it just took typing in one field in there and hitting update and we were done. Now let's say um, we want to have more than one race configuration here is where the real um, trick to the race managers come in or any of the managers come in. Let's say I want to have a race that is incredibly similar to this one but not quite the same. Um, Specifically, let's say we want to change the heat rotation. Um, so we go to the heat pane, and let's say, you know, uh, for this one we want a European round robin. So we just simply select that. Now, because we want to create a new race, and we know as an expert user that the race name has to be unique, we're going to create a second race, we're going to call it race 2. Now I can hit add. So in changing only two properties, I've now created a, round, a European round robin race based off of my previous straight round robin race. And now I have two races over here, and when I come out of here, two races down in the, in the race day setup screen to choose from. Um, the other thing to notice is that, so I'm on the current race right here, which was the um, straight round robin. You'll notice that it says round robin. Again, when I select this race, it changes from the round robin is no longer selected, but the European round robin is. So you can see you can really crank out quickly things. And the idea is, is that if you set up a template sort of race, you can use that to... to sort of churn out other races that you need if they're similar. Um, this is particularly useful for some of the more cumbersome things you might need to do, like setting up audio callouts. Um, you know, you might be adding 5, 10, 15 audio callouts, and you might want, you know, those same callouts for every single race you ever run. Well, you set up a, the first race once, and then use the manager to basically copy that race and then make modifications to it. Um, it's really that simple. Um, that's really all I wanted to show you for the race... Uh, the, the manager screen for now. Um, again, we'll get into um, specifically the details of the race manager, of the car manager, the driver manager, the event manager, track manager, all of those things in different in, a, in depth in a, in a second in a different tutorial. So, um, if you're interested in looking at how to set up specific race formats or your track, um, your track interface, those things, stay tuned, and we'll get you to another tutorial um, as soon as we can. Thanks a lot.